Today we are going to talk about the F-105 Thunder Chief. The first F-105 flight took place October of 1955. The cost of the aircraft when it originally came out in 1960 was $2.14 million. Some people call it the Thud. There's rumored as to why it was called the Thud. Some legends say that it was the sound that the aircraft made when it hit the deck after a mission. Other people say that the name was given to uh, the aircraft by the maintainers because of Thunder Thud from Howdy Doody. But like I said, you can go all over the internet and find multiple stories of why it was called the Thud, but those are the two biggest legends that I've heard. The paint scheme that you see on this aircraft right now, it should be a chrome looking paint scheme, but as you see right now, it's kind of a gray. They don't have the polished look because it would be hard for them to keep up. You could see other paint schemes, it's a camouflage paint scheme, but the 23rd never flew with the camouflage. The F-105 also carries a uh, Gatlin gun, same style as you would see in an F-16, the Gatlin gun that shoots uh, 6,000 rounds a minute. It uh, carries a payload of uh, 12,000 pounds of bombs. It can take 8,000 internal in the internal bay, and it can take 4,000 on the wing tips. The F-105 participated in 75% of the sorties flown during Operation Rolling Thunder. It was the biggest workhorse of Vietnam. A lot of people don't know that. Over half of the aircraft that were put into production that were in Vietnam were shot down or lost by crashing or uh, other circumstances. This particular aircraft, if you look over my right shoulder, you will see a red star. That red star is there for Major Donald Russell. He was a member of the 333rd Fighter Squadron out of Seymour Johnson, but we have that star in honor of him. He shot down a MiG-17 on October 18, 1967. Sadly, on December 5th of that same year, he was on a bombing run for a AAA site and was shot down. A positive note, his commander said that he did hit his target before he crashed and perished with the aircraft. The F-105 was a part of the 23rd wing, but it was not a part of the 23rd wing when the 74th, the 75th, and the 76th were assigned to the 23rd. It was at McConnell Air Force Base in Kansas when they flew the F-105, and the squadrons were the 561st, the 562nd, and the 563rd. They all flew the F-105, from 1964 to 1972. The 347th actually flew the F-105 as well when they were stationed at Yokota Air Base in 1968. The F-105 was retired in February of 1984. 